Look at Thierry Henry. <laughs> the coach is dancing and celebrating the qualification to the final of the Olympics. He deserved this because when he signed first time as a coach for Monaco, it ended up in disaster. But now I think that he learned a lot and he's not that tough anymore he understand the new generation because he used to be very disciplinary guys this is Oggs, your own brother if you want to help me out please subscribe to the channel and smash the like button let's get to minimum 500 likes in this video we have some random topics as i'm showing you this is shirky here very bad attitude and one of the reasons why many top teams don't want to go and buy Shirky because of his attitude. When it comes to playing football on the pitch, he's one of the best. Remind me of uh, Atem Benarfa. His attitude didn't take him to the next level. So, France, Michael Olise is unplayable with Mateta. Wow. Wow. I'm telling you right now, friends are cooking. Mateta and Olise are going to take it home, baby. It's coming home, coming home. Tell the world. So, the final is going to be between France and Spain. It's going to be at Parc de Prince, I think. And this is time for us to take revenge on Spain for knocking France out of Euros in the... It was in the semifinals, right? Correct me if I'm wrong. But, man, I'm telling you right now. Olise, five games, two goals, four assists. Amazing, amazing golden boy that we have in hand. And Didier Deschamps is just kind of really stupid. How can you leave somebody like Olise out of the French, the French team? The guy got skills, dribbles, X-factor, and product. Usman Dembele might have, you know, those tricks and dribble, but he doesn't have the end product. Let's move on. Chelsea, breaking news. This came early this morning that Chelsea are willing to be flexible and pay Victor Osiman the money that he deserves for his quality. And everybody went crazy. It was published by many, many outlets that Chelsea are going for. Osiman and also Omorodion. It was kind of strange because I didn't really see how Chelsea were going to fit all of them in the same team. Mark Gee was still there and also Nicholas Jackson. I had my doubt if you watched my previous video this morning. But after that, look at this. Boom. Chelsea left the scene of Osimhen according to Dimazio. But this is not like gospel or anything because in a transfer window, it's always up and down. Chelsea are going for Omoro Dion. Atletico don't want to sell him. They want 70 million, 80 million. And look at us today. We are about to get him for 35 million. And remember back in the day with Enzo Fernandez, it took the saga until the last minute. So never say never in a transfer window like this but it looks like chelsea if you think about it right why they would like to have osiman high salary and apparently obligation to buy and chelsea have so many attackers that are just waiting for a chance it didn't make sense to me but it made sense on social media because that's what people want to hear so, all kind of comparison came out between Datro Fofana, Omoro Dion, Omoro Dion, and Nicholas Jackson. People need just to stop comparing because each situation is different. You know, statistics are just like biki uh, bikinis, right? What you see is interesting and what you don't see is equally as interesting what is hiding there is equally as interesting so somebody can come up with statistics like this to 
sabotage somebody or to build somebody you can find all kind of statistics whatever you what you want to find you can find it just to hype your boy or destroy somebody that you don't like so i don't like the comparison you can't even compare that through fofana who probably played like two games or few games you know never played like 90 minutes for chelsea the premier league is different let's wait and see what is going to happen because we are bringing a lot of players some of them need to leave and alfie gilchrist would join sheffield united on loan according to fabrizio romano this morning i think it's gonna be a very good move Ethan Ampadu from the academy went to Sheffield United. Remember? One season. Well, it didn't work good for him because they got relegated. I hope... Um, well, but this time they already relegated. So it's going to be in the championship. So Alfie learning under a very defensive coach like Chris Wilder can improve. And who knows? Maybe in the future he's going to play for Chelsea Football Club or we're going to sell him for pure profit. Look at the academy. The starting 11. <laughs> Jimmy Cumming, Fikayo Tomori, Mark Gui, Lewis Hall, Tino Livramento, Kano Gallagher, Ruben Loftochik, Mason Mount, Jan Matson, Kalim Hasnadoy, Tammy Abraham. This is the graduate that we sold since 2021 a lot of them i can even bring more on the list chelsea always produce some very very good players like now nobody is going to convince me that Mikalo mudrik is better than kalim hasnadoy but of course people are not going to say that because it's kobam because it's you know english kalim hasnadoy so we produce very, very good product, but now it looks like we're going to focus more on selling them and go buy more Wonder Kid from somewhere. Gallagher got some very good experience, captain of Chelsea Football Club. Whew. Get rid. Go buy some 16 years old from Venezuela or from Soweto. So Chelsea, huh, it's going to be a long process, my friend. We move. <laughs> Oh, the squad is too big, so we have to get rid of players. Look at the squad size in the Premier League, big six so far. <laughs> Chelsea, 41 players. Liverpool, 30 players. Tottenham, 30 players. Manchester City, 29 players. Manchester United, 28. Arsenal, 24. Look at Chelsea almost the double of what Arsenal got. So we have to get rid of some players who is going and who is staying. I think if Samu, Samu Umoro Dion joins Chelsea, it's going to be very difficult to keep Mark Gill, you know, and even Omari Kellyman, you know, some, some, some players just need to go because it's going to be too, too many. <laughs> Kano Gallagher preparing to travel to Madrid on Tuesday. He was supposed to be on to be there on Monday for medical, but because of the Omoro Dion deal, they want to cook the deal, everything together before he travel for for medical. So Chelsea being smart here, okay? We don't we don't close the deal on Gallagher if we don't close our on deal on Omoro Dion. So nobody takes advantage of nobody here, right? <laughs> so tomorrow is going to be the big day or today, depending on your location, of course, because it might be already Tuesday in your location. Aussie man, my friend, I see a lot of uh, debate on social media that he's the guy who would take Chelsea to the next level or the blah, 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 blah. But in a system that we play right now, I don't think Osimen is the solution. Probably the guy that you don't count on, like Omoro Dion, could be the, the guy. Uh, listen, I've been saying this for three years. I never was a fan of Osimen, anyways, but I, I like him. He's my brother. If he comes to Chelsea Football Club, I will I will 
welcome him and call him the best in the world, better than Haaland, better than Mbappe, better than anybody, Harry Kane, because that's what I do with my boy. I hype my boy. I'm not going to accept that somebody who plays for me is less than somebody else. That is like my duty to hype my boy. But I, I've been telling you over and over again, it's not the profile that I like. I don't like his football. He's not like a big game player. When Nigeria need him in big moment, he doesn't show up. When Napoli need him in the Champions League or in big games in, the, in Italy, he doesn't show up. And he's not like dropping and helping the team and whatever like it uh, it's not my cup of tea that's all i can say and even enrique at psg who plays almost the same way as chelsea tiki taka everybody working for everybody he said no to Osimen for a reason so probably right now it's time for us to forget about Osimen and focus on omoro dion or Mark Gill give them a chance just because they don't have big names doesn't mean they are not gonna be big players for Chelsea Football Club but I can understand that Chelsea are so used to buying expensive players Lukaku you know Werner Kai Havertz and people like that Aubameyang that it's becoming like a mindset but if you dip and if you think outside the box, you see that we, we spent a lot of money for really no reason. Big money, big salary, uh, shiny names don't necessarily mean good players. Chelsea are going to make some money because Mark Gay or Mark Gway is about to be sold by Crystal Palace to Newcastle United for around 60 to 70 million chelsea got 20 percent included on this deal and they also have like the matching right okay if chelsea want to match the money now and get gay they can go and do it but they, they are not gonna do it but they can still get some money 20 percent not a big deal because it doesn't even cover the money that we played my malang saw for three years salary at chelsea football club but it's something though for the books but it's not something that i would say marina master class she put 20 percent on on gay and we're getting money think about how much money we lost on people like lukaku you know people like uh, malangsa and all that it's gonna just cover a little bit of what we lost but still in big loss if that makes sense to anybody anyways people i feel really really sorry for certain players at chelsea we got too excited when we buy all of them but look at this that that shows you the career of mark giu so far david datro fofana david washington dijon richard and some other boys like why get too excited about buying the next Didier Drogba? You know, that throw for Fana is the next Drogba. Yeah. Never gave him a chance. And then you go get Guillou from Barcelona and the guy is killing it, even though he's not scoring many goals yet in the preseason. But you can tell that this guy is going to be a beast. And you're going again to buy somebody with the same profile almost the same age from atletico omoro dion it doesn't make sense to me to be honest with you i don't know what we are trying to do but <laughs> we we could be in big big trouble i i don't know i i you know it's like i have hope because it's my club but i'm not too sure where we're gonna finish this season and what are we trying to do at chelsea right now if you know anything you just let me know I'm lost.